Hey community, Jonas here from PickDefi and today we have a new tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to set up MetaMask in your Google Chrome extension and how to integrate the Binance Smart Chain with your MetaMask wallet. So let's not waste any time, let's get started. I have opened Google Chrome which I just downloaded so it's pretty new and first thing we need to do is install MetaMask. So we type in MetaMask Chrome extension and then we go to Google Chrome extensions, find the MetaMask, add extension and that's it. Now we have installed MetaMask. Okay, we can go here to the top, we can say okay I want to pin it. Okay, now we can see it every time here. So now we have to start our MetaMask wallet. How do we do that? We click on get started first and then MetaMask is asking us, do we already have an Ethereum wallet with a 12 word seed phrase or not. If you use your PicDeFi smartphone wallet, your PicDeFi Ethereum wallet on your phone, you can click on import wallet. Then you have to say I agree and after that you have to import your seed phrase, type in your password that you want to have and then you click on I, uh, I agree and then click on import. Or you can say no, I don't have a wallet yet, I want to create a new wallet. So you Click on create new wallet, you agree, you have to type in a password, I will say market peak now. Since this is just a test wallet, you click on create. Then you can reveal your secret words, your 12 word phrase, or you can click on remind me later. But if you set up a new wallet, I would recommend that you actually write these words down, it's very important. So now you have established an Ethereum wallet, which is super easy. As you can see, just a few clicks, it takes two minutes and you have established an Ethereum wallet. You can see that this is an Ethereum wallet because here you see ETH and here you see Ethereum mainnet. So now we are going to integrate the Binance Smart Chain into our MetaMask wallet. How do we do that? You can click on the top here, we can see different networks and we want to add the Smart Chain network. We have a very nice article from the Binance Academy here, which explains everything what I'm going to show you right now. And we will just use the parameters given from Binance. So I am going to click on settings here, click on the image, then click on settings, click on networks, click on add network. And now we have to add all the information from the new network that we are trying to add. I will minimize the window. so that we have this on the right hand side and that we have the parameters on the left hand side and yeah we have it mainnet so what we are going to do now is that we are just going to copy this information here network name smart chain the rpc url over here chain id is 56 current symbol is bnb and the block explorer here and click on save and that's it that's all we have to do yeah put it back there now we have the smart chain so that's all you need to do you just have to click on settings add network type in the parameters given by the article over here these parameters which i will uh, put in the video description down below the video as well as i will link up this article and then you can switch between smart chain and ethereum mainnet the only thing that you have to consider now is that with the Ethereum mainnet you will use ETH ETH, as a currency to pay for the gas fees which are pretty high right now. So you need ETH to pay for the GUI and gas limit. With the Binance Smart Chain you have to use BNB as your currency. Even though there's an Ethereum symbol here you need BNB. So if you want to send tokens or if you want to swap tokens or intact with a smart contract on a Binance Smart Chain, you need BNB to cover the network fees. So you need to top up BNB. How can you do that? You can click on your address over here. You can open your um, Binance account, for example. I have it over here. Here, yeah, I can show you my Binance account on my Firefox. One second, here we have it. So this is my Binance account and I can click on Withdraw, then here withdraw, type in BNB, then I can type in the BNB address that I want to send the uh, the BNB to, and then I can click on Binance Smart Chain. I can choose to withdraw the BNB 
or I can choose to withdraw ETH, for example, to Binance Smart Chain. With ETH, you can choose between recipient's ETH address, and then you can choose between Ethereum, that you want to have Ethereum on the Ethereum network, or Binance Smart Chain. But we are going to stick with BNB right here. BNB. And then you type in the address over here. They have just copied from MetaMask. Then you click on Binance Smart Chain, and then it says, for the safety of your funds, please confirm again that the network you wish to use is BSC. So you just have to make sure that your uh, that your MetaMask wallet actually is Smart Chain. But it is, so it's all good. We can use it. No worries. And you can type in the amount. Then you click on Submit. You withdraw from uh, Binance. And then you will receive your BNB on your MetaMask wallet. So if you want to spend your BNB, you just click on smart chain you can send it swap it, whatever you want to do you can click on ethereum main it and here you can see that as well if you have some tokens and you want to swap them from the ethereum net to the binance smart chain then you can use something which is called the binance bridge you can choose for example eth as an asset you click from ethereum network to binance smart chain network or you can choose usdt and you can click from different options, for example, from Tron Network or Binance Chain Network or Ethereum Network. And you can transfer USDT from Ethereum Network to your Binance Smart Chain Network. And then you click on Connect Wallet. Then it will ask you with uh, MetaMask with your permission and to pay for the fees. And then you're good to go. You also have an introduction video on the left hand side. So it's very easy to swap assets from one chain to another chain because you have to consider the Binance Smart Chain is a different blockchain. So if you send Ethereum to the Binance Smart Chain address, it will not arrive. You need to actually go over a bridge option like this. But if, for example, you send BNB to the wrong address, but it can be the wrong address because it's all the same address, then you could just recover your ETH wallet because they're using the same system of a wallet. And then you can just send your BNB back to the exchange for example to Binance and then send it to your BNB network so uh, BSC network so it's very easy and if you have any questions feel free to ask us on telegram or discord I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you learned something and I wish you a nice day bye bye